Multiply and simplify the product. For example, A, we have 2 over 7 times 3 over 10. Now to multiply fractions, we multiply top times top, bottom times bottom. However, in an effort to keep the numbers small, we are going to simply place the values in the correct location by merging the two fractions, meaning we are now going to have 2 times 3 in the numerator and 7 times 10 in the denominator. We do this in order to keep the numbers small. So what do we do from here? Well, next, we are going to factor the individual values. In the numerator, our first value is a 2. Can 2 factor or is it prime? Well, 2 is prime, so it will remain 2. We look at the other numerator, which is 3, and we factor that if possible. However, 3 is prime, so it remains as a 3. Now we turn our attention to the denominator. In the denominator, we have 7 times 10. Well, the first value, 7, can that factor? or is it prime? Well, remember, 7 is a prime number. Next, we look at 10. Is 10 prime? No, 10 can factor, giving us the factors of 2 times 5. Now that we have the factors laid out before us, we're ready to reduce if there's any common factors appearing in both the numerator and denominator. Hopefully you notice a common factor of 2 in both places, which means those two divided by two reduce to a value of one. There are no other common factors to reduce, so we multiply the remaining values. In the numerator, one times three is three, and seven times five is 35. Example B, we have seven over eight times four over 21. Like the previous problem, we are going to merge the two fractions. We merge by multiplying top times top, bottom times bottom, giving us seven times four in the numerator and eight times 21 in the denominator. From here, again, in an effort to keep the numbers small, we are going to factor the values individually. Looking in the numerator first, our first numerator is seven. Remember, seven is prime, it cannot factor, so we move to the other numerator being a four. Four can factor into the values of two times two. Now we turn our attention to the denominator where we have an eight. Eight can factor into two times two times two, and then we factor the last denominator of 21. 21 can factor into three times seven. Now that the factors are laid before us, we're now ready to reduce. The first common factor I hope you see is that both the numerator and denominator have a seven. They also have a common factor of a two and another common factor of a two. From here, we have removed all the common factors. We're ready to find our solution. Now be very careful. Although we reduced the values in the numerator, the values did not disappear. Instead, a one is in their place. So for the numerator, we have one times one times one, and in the denominator, we have two times three, ultimately giving us an answer of one over six.